Right now we've uh, delivered uh, uh, almost our 200th helicopter. In fact, in November we'll deliver 200th uh, MH60 Romeo to the uh, United States Navy. Production's going very well uh, and we'll continue through uh, 2018. Uh, we also, uh, Sikorsky rolled the first uh, MH60 uh, Romeo off for uh, Denmark. That happened uh, a week ago uh, in early October. That aircraft is being flown to uh, West Palm Beach where it'll receive the deck lock uh, modification and in early uh, 2015 it'll fly up to Owego and we'll put all the avionics in it that, that make it the MH60 Romeo. Um, Denmark obviously has bought uh, eight uh, aircraft. They'll receive their first aircraft in 2016 so that aircraft will be delivered to Denmark in 2016 and we'll deliver all eight aircraft by 2018. Uh, very happy with the way the uh, Australian uh, production's going. Uh, they, uh, they've received their fifth aircraft this year uh, and their first aircraft arrived in Australia. So essentially from contract award in 2012 to five aircraft being delivered here in 2014, uh, the Australians have already put 1,000 hours on their MH60 Romeos and have, have uh, done the full spectrum of testing of ASW operations, uh, firing Hellfire missiles, and they just love the aircraft. So we're very happy with the way that partnership's going. Well, I, I think, uh, you know, are probably our best sales force are the international customers that have just bought the aircraft, but uh, we're looking at opportunities in the Middle East and in, uh, in South America and in Asia. So uh, lots of interest and, uh, and hopefully uh, near-term uh, customers. And are, are you able to talk about sort of the longer term plans for the US Navy in terms of, you know, are they looking at further upgrades or further capability that they might kind of incorporate into the program? Right, they, uh, they're obviously uh, in, the, in the middle of uh, upgrading the uh, mission computer uh, to increase the speed and uh, processing capability uh, to add capability. Uh, the, uh, the U.S. Navy is always looking at additional capabilities to add and I know they have a priority list. I'd refer you to them to, to see what they're actually going to fund. And of course uh, the international community is now participating in co-development with uh, the United States Navy so that's pretty exciting to see uh, some of the projects that will be coming out of that.